Hi, Chuck here. I'm in Zagreb, Croatia, and here we are at a, another instance of uh, Office Hours, the extended edition. Uh, tell us your name. Hi, I'm Marco. Um, tell me, uh, what, do you, what, is your what are you doing in education right now? What, what degree are you pursuing? I'm studying in Faculty of Electrical Engineering uh, and Computing at the University of Zagreb, and I'm a graduate student. And uh, so how many Cor Coursera classes have you taken? I've taken two courses, uh, yours, and uh, introduction to Python. Why do you use Coursera? Why, why have you added Coursera to your education? Uh, because, uh, first of all, I want to broaden my knowledge. And uh, after all, some, uh, some uh, how do you say, uh, to show, to show something in my CV that I've taken other courses than uh, studying at the faculty. Do you have any uh, suggestions for improvements or what, what, what would you say if you were talking to the people who ran Coursera? Uh, just make it faster. Make it faster? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so tell Hi. me your name. My name is Ana Maria Kudrna. I'm a student of philosophy and social humanistic informatics graduate and undergraduate. Um, what was the question? <laughs> so uh, so tell me about how many Coursera courses have you taken? Uh, I've taken four. Uh, in, in Guide to Rational Behavior, um, How to Reason and Argue, and uh, Human-Computer Interaction, and the fourth one was Artificial Intelligence at uh, Stanford. Did you finish them all? No, I finished uh, only one, and I got a certificate from How to Reason and Argue. So, how do you how do you fit it in with the rest of your education? I mean, what you know, what how does it fit, and what part of your education does Coursera fit, fulfill? Uh, the things that I learned are outside of my study scope. It was uh, I'm really interested in a lot of things, and I think that uh, people should be more prone to interdisciplinarity. So I want to learn things from other places and I think that makes me more valuable at uh, the market and I'm really genuinely interested in a lot of things. So. so is there anything that worries you about Coursera? Does it bother you or do you have some fears about the future? Or do you think it's like... Uh, fears? I'm, I fear that it will um, become when mo money gets involved, we will no longer probably be able to be open source because somebody has to pay it. And I think it's only a matter of time when um, it will it will get some somebody will have to pay for it. So I I'm afraid that it will no longer be available to um, a lot of people. Okay. Do you have anything that you would say to suggest to improve it? That uh, you, you, you're a professional in uh, sort of learning technology. What, do you have any suggestions? Uh, just make it fun, like uh, you or Dan Ariely does. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, 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 so there you have it. Uh, the, the voice of the student from uh, uh, downtown uh, Zagreb, uh, and we'll uh, talk to you next time.